Ash, can you not? Your Ash is going to fall. She is going to fall. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Sally Face. <laughs> so, I know it's been a while since I've last played, um, but it was nice taking a small break, you know, just to unwind, relax, enjoy my birthday. <laughs> um, I had loads of fun, but I am super excited to get back into playing Sally Face and hopefully finishing off this game. Not in this run, but just, just overall, just uncovering the story and things like that like i really want to know just the outcome of ev of everything <laughs> i don't remember where we last left off exactly but i'm just gonna go ahead and, and explore around eventually i'll figure it out <laughs> and we can get started on this <laughs> all right let's bring up the mission aha uh -huh, meet in 202 all right oh yeah that's right that's right that's right we were grouping up with um larry and um names um <laughs> larry and our gay bestie <laughs> and uh todd todd there we go todd <laughs> i like how the game was like it's todd <laughs> larry and todd we're meeting up with larry and todd and um yeah, we're gonna uncover some things. Progress on. Because I really want to know what that whole baloney meat is, is all about. But I'm pretty sure I explored everything. If I didn't, I am so sorry to those of you that are screaming at me through the screen. <laughs> but I do want to go ahead and continue on on this. So Todd, I am so ready to go. Are you ready? Oh, hell yeah, I'm ready. Yes. I've tapped into the security cameras and we'll be able to loop footage of the empty hallway until you two get back. Be careful. And that's going to be really tricky for me to get back into the groove of, of these voices. <laughs> that's going to be fun. Ooh, so you tap into the security cameras, you say. Got it. Nice. We should go quick before she gets back. Oh, dude, it smells like ass in here. Ass and old feet. <laughs> oh, my God. Good Lord. We better make this a short visit. I can't take that stench for too long. Check out that painting. What if Packerton really does just work on a farm? <gasps> That's right! That's right! We're investigating Mrs. Packerton home because we're suspecting there's something more to her supplying the meat. I, it, it's, it's coming back to me. <laughs> yes, we're investigating Mrs. Packerton. Why is she supplying the meat to the school? How is she getting her supply? I'm convinced it's dead people, probably dead kids from the school that she supplies as meat for the bologna that we're eating. And I really hope that's not the case. <laughs> I don't know. That painting gives me a weird feeling, like a cold chill. Whoa, yeah, I feel it too. Let's look around. All right, Sal. Radio. It's a needle radio, but it won't turn on. It must be broken. Right, okay. Ooh, clock. Hmm, the clock hands are stuck at 314. If I try to move them, they just go right back. Right, oh, bedroom one and bedroom two, you say? It's locked, and there's some weird mechanism on the doorknob. Interesting, okay, how about bedroom two? Damn, it's locked. Are all the bedrooms locked? Oh, oh, wait, wait, ooh. Ooh, gear boy, gear boy, yes. I almost forgot about the gear boy. <laughs> Ooh, gear boy, yes, yes, yes. Anything, anything. Sup, Larry? Okay, cool, gear boy. Nope, nope, nope. All right, can I go in the bathroom? Ooh, I can. Ew, ew, Miss, Miss Packerton, you need to clean up. Is that poop? Oh, uh, gross. There's a big old log in there. Ew, yeah, that is poop. Ew, oh my God. 
when's the last time she cleaned this bathroom? What you need to ask is when the last time this bitch took a bath because I can't imagine taking a bath in a bathroom like that. Oh, someone got enough. Oh, diapers. Wait, why do you need diapers for? There's a big thing of diapers. Do you think Mrs. Packerton uses them for herself? Probably, dude. Packerton is ancient. <laughs> oh my God. Huggums <laughs> for dry bum bums. <laughs> I love that name, Huggums. I love that so much. Yeah, Mrs. Packerton, you have some serious issues. And you know what she does kind of look, she does kind of look like a killer, 100%. All right, Larry, let's, let's see what's in this. You see, that's really suspicious. Why do you have a lock on the freezer? Anything strange in the fridge? No, looks like normal groceries and stuff, but there's a padlock on the freezer. Can you get it open? Yeah, just give me a minute. Oh, you're gonna pick lock it? Pick lock it, Larry. Did you get it open yet? Not yet. Okay, Larry, can you like pick lock faster, please? Wait, freezer, oh, oh, freezer. Got it. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> Ooh, but freezer, what's in here? It's filled with rolls of bologna, along with some frozen vegetables and other various food. Nothing out of place, really. Nothing out of place, you say. <sighs> Please do not show me a head. Please do not show me a head. All right, let's open it up. Yeah, I hope it's not a head. <sighs> At least it's a goat head and not a human head. That's what I appreciate. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, but what are those symbols, Miss Packerton? I'm not liking those symbols you got. It is goats. I f called that shit, man. At, at least it's goats and not children. Also gross. I feel like it can't be that simple. Let's see if we can get into those bedrooms. All right. Yeah, Sal has the right idea. I like Sal. Sal is nosy as hell, just like me, but for the good reasons. Open it up, Larry. This is a bizarre lock, dude. I'm not sure if I can pick it, but I'll keep trying. Lock it up. Open it. Open it. Do the thing. <laughs> also, while Larry is pick locking this, thank you guys for the happy birthdays. I really appreciate it. It made my uh, weekend. I almost said day, but I had many days. <laughs> but it made my weekend, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> Larry, are you done yet? I feel like Larry's gonna be like, I got it after I leave. Cause. Um. Hello? <gasps> that is not the goat. Oh. Um. Hi, little buddy. <laughs> oh my god, that's so weird. Oh, you poor thing. Bae, bye bye. <laughs> what the hell was that? That, that, that was a goat, Larry? <laughs> a ghost goat, apparently. That probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point, but I definitely did not see that coming. Yeah, I didn't see it coming either. Interesting. Very interesting. Did you get it open, Larry? Hello? Oh, the radio, nice. Um, I can change the station, you say, okay. Is this 314 on the clock? Yeah, 314. It says 314. Uh, 
Interesting. Larry, are you working on the lock? Okay, bro, I, I, I need you to be working on the lock. Okay, I have a feeling that there's a clue. <gasps> Wait, is the gold? Is the gold the clue? Ah, okay, one. I'm like reaching right now. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, one. Bam, bam. Okay, two. One. Bam, bam. Two. One, two, one, two. And then if I check the fridge, it's just gonna be this. Wait, wait, wait. Is there something in the fridge that tells me? Anything in the fridge? Okay, its tag is one or four seven. Okay, its tag is one or four seven. Aha! One or four seven. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. 12, 12. Oh, let's go! I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Okay, that was pretty big brain of me. I'm not gonna lie, especially coming back after a break. I did pretty good there. <laughs> I, I actually dumbfounded I solved that shit. Let's go. <laughs> that unlocked the first bedroom. L let's check it out. Yeah, because Larry's taking too long. There's someone in here. Excuse you? Hello? That's who the diapers are for. Is that her husband? Um, Mr. Packerton? Hello? I don't think he hears you. You're right. Looks like he's in some kind of vegetative state. Man, this is f and definitely where that rancid smell is coming from too. Yuck. Let's get a quick look around and get out of here. Yeah. All of these papers are talking about the death of Mr. Packerton. If he's dead, then who's laying in that bed? What I want to know is why the hell are there so many shit-filled diapers in here? Like seriously, like what the f I know what you mean. This apartment is making me super nauseous. You don't think she uses the... No, no, never mind. I don't even want to think about that. I think if the mystery ingredient was human shit, Todd, Todd would have seen some signs of that in the lab, right? I guess so. Well, honestly, I have no idea. Let's just hurry up in here. Yeah, that's very um concerning. Mr. Packerton? Are you Mr. Packerton? Blink if you can hear me. Hello? Right, see, that's even if he can blink. There would be ghostly activity. Is he being like held alive against his own will? Young child, please help me. How can you be, are, are you dead? I am in between, suffering for what seems like an eternity. Did Mrs. Packerton do this to you? We were in love once, or so I thought. Yes, this is her doing. Please, you must help me escape the endless agony. Um, what is in the baloney, sir? I, I would actually, I'm very interested in what's in the baloney. <laughs> baloney? I'm afraid I don't know much about that. This room is my prison, my tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never leave in this state. 
You want me to pull the plug? There's a plug right there. I, I can pull it for you. You must unplug this horrid machine. But isn't that... W wouldn't that... It will end my suffering. It will free me from this torment. See, I know it will end your suffering, but here's the thing, though. If Sal pulls the plug, Sal's going to be a murderer at this point. Unless, unless, unless Sal does it without leaving fingerprints and we somehow manage to leave before Miss Packerton comes back. And yeah, because I know she's going to be sus of like, you know, like who came into my bedroom and unplugged my husband, you know, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so, but are you sure? Please, child, I beg of you. You must hurry before she returns. Okay. You know what? Wait, no. You don't understand what it's like being trapped between life and death. My soul is being torn apart. I'm sorry. Wait, it unplugged anyway? You unplugged it? I'm sorry, dude. The poor guy was in pain. You heard him. It's what he wanted. We couldn't let him suffer like that. Okay, cool. So no matter what, because I, because I'm always like picking yes to these responses. So it's kind of refreshing to see what a no answer in this kind of situation is like. So I had no choice. He was going to get unplugged either way. I guess so, but. Oh, shit. She's back. Quick. B behind the dresser. Oh, boy. Oh, you guys are so f if you don't make it out alive, I... I love you, dude. Oh, I love you too, man. You're, you're the best friend I've ever had, you know? Same to you, little bud. <sighs> Thanks, Ash. <laughs> Thank you, Ash. Th 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 thank you for scaring the shit out of them and me. <laughs> hey, sorry to ruin to ruin the moment, but what the hell is this place? Ashley, you scared the crap out of us. I can see that. <laughs> Man, am I glad to see you, Ash. I thought we were done for. I thought you had to sw I, I I thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad came home. My dad came home early, so I rode over here straight away. Sorry for giving you guys a scare. I... Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he... It was him. He's gone now. He's finally at peace. Damn. Yeah, damn. And please, don't tell me this is what is what's going into the baloney. No, it's not. We're still trying to figure that out. I hope not. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked in yet. We need to get in there before we leave. Oh, check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key ring under the dresser. Oh, isn't that nice? One of these keys has to open th that other bedroom. Let's check it out. Anything to get out of this room. All right, cool. Am I going to have... Oh, I, I wanted to have like an, an entourage with me. Can I interact with him again? No, he's free. Rest in peace, Mr. Packerton. You don't have to suffer anymore. Okay. All right. Um. I guess we go. <laughs> okay. Use the key. A strange assortment of keys. Larry found them hidden in Mrs. Packerton's apartment. All right, let's go inside. We're in. What in the? Oh, those are so people. <laughs> those are so people. Mrs. Packerton. Oh my God. Um, m m m Mrs. Packerton? 
This can't be good. Oh my god. Freezer? Another damn combo lock. Uh, uh. It, uh, easy as pie. Um. Right? Easy as pie. Right, it's okay. Um, maybe, maybe, wait, wait, maybe it is. Nope. Okay, quit. I don't know the passcode yet. Not yet. But I am looking on the walls just to make sure. Ah, Braille, I see. Okay, so I am going to be r reading some Braille. Or not Braille, Morse code. Morse code, that's going to be really annoying. All right, let me take a picture of that <laughs> real quick. And let me take a picture of you real quick. Oh, uh, yes, cheese. <laughs> All right. Um, examine. It's like some kind of slaughter factory in here. Right. Anything, anything, anything. No, okay. Now here's now here's my thing though. The freezer has a lock, but where where is the hints? Interesting. Was there anything on the free? Oh, the freezer. I see. Okay, the freezer. Nice. I noticed that. Okay, so freezer. Where is my picture? <laughs> All right. So I'm assuming small dot. Okay, so the, so that's one or big dot. Okay, so that's four and then one and then one, two, three, and then one, two, one, two, three, three. Ah, I got it. <laughs> oh. oh. We, we're in way over our heads here. We need to get help. Yeah, you guys need to really get help. Oh my God. At least my assumptions and everyone else's, everyone else's assumptions are right. <laughs> they are people <laughs> that she's been serving. There are no bones. What? There aren't any bones in here. It's all just meat. Are you telling me this bitch skinned all of these people? Dude, no, come on. Oh, poor Larry. <laughs> oh. Ash is right. We should get help. Don't you see? There is no one who can help us. Every time something happens here, it's covered up. The cult, Luke, Charlie, Mrs. Sanderson. Who knows what else this place has hidden? We can't trust the cops and we can't tell our parents because they'll want to go to the police. They haven't believed anything we've told them about. Then what do we do? I don't know, man. Things just keep getting worse. Packerton's chopping people up and serving them to, uh, I don't think I'll ever look at bologna the same again. That's why Sal doesn't like bologna. That's why you don't like bologna. I totally understand. Well. Well, what? You asked why I don't eat the bologna and I've told you why. Of all... Of all the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next. Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've said up until now anyways, and the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably going to cut it up to make me sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of this story and we'll air it in its entirety. Without cuts, I promise you. 
I heard you men- you mentioned Todd M- Morrison's name before we started. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything here. Yes, we shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still... in the hospital? I'll tell you what. You finish the baloney story and I'll tell you about Todd. Looks like we gotta finish the story, Sal. Before we left Mrs. Packerton's room, Ash noticed something else. Hey guys, come look at this. Oh, Ash, damn. There's some kind of trash chute hiding behind the painting. That's weird. This building doesn't have a this building doesn't have trash chutes. Well, apparently Miss Packerton made one. It doesn't look like he goes outside. There's no light coming in. Wait, are there bodies in the walls? Be careful, Ash. I wonder where it leads. Ash, can you not? Your Ash is going to fall. She is going to fall. Ash? Yeah, Ash fell. Ash! <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> my voice. Ash, are you okay? Ash! Oh no, oh no. This can't be happening. Please, let her be okay. We have to find where this leads to. How are we... What are... Larry, we're going inside the trash chute. We're going in. I'm gonna shimmy down. It's the only way. Dude, no. You're not thinking straight. What if you fall too? Or or land on her if she's still alive? That could kill her. Okay, yeah. You're right. Let's think... We fought, we all, we all, we all, we all. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, it said. I like how the less letters there are in these things, it's easier to tell what it is. But for some reason, the more that there are, it's really hard to figure out what the hell this thing is saying. <laughs> like I'm really trying to figure out what it says. That says Sal, hundred percent. So if I try to read backwards, you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've been spending some time trying trying to figure out. I I, I don't want to spend too much time. All I know is that I'm pretty sure that word is Sal. <laughs> That's all I know. I know where it goes. What? How? Never mind. Just get Todd and meet me in the basement. Oh, is that it? That's where. Okay, so it, it, it was telling us where it, it goes. What's going on? Sal, what did you see? Is Ashley all right? Everything is going to be okay. Come help me with this. Oh, is it now, Sal? I hope Ash is fine. No one has used this apartment in a long time. It's in rough shape, but Addison can't afford the renovations it needs, just like the fifth floor. Is this what you saw in your vision, Sal? It doesn't work exactly like that. It's more like a feeling of heightened intuition. All right, you lead the way. Larry and I will offer support however we can. It's locked. Wait, one of those keys from Packerton's look like the old apartment keys. Try that out. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about those. Perfect. Ooh, perfect. I hope Ash is fine though. There's nothing in here. Give me a minute to look around. All right, yeah, give us a minute. Mm-hmm. Give me a minute real quick. I'll look around real good. Really? Why is a sink green? 
pretty gross. All right, what room is this? A bedroom number two. All right, a bedroom. This carpet is torn up here. It looks like, hmm. It looks like what? Guys, come check this out. The, wait, did I find the right room on accident? Dude, there must be an old undocumented sub-basement level. It's definitely not in any of the blueprints that I've seen. Perhaps an old dirt cellar or something of the like. I had no idea this was here. The third key from Mrs. Packerton fits in this door. Ash must be down there. It's the only place that shoot could lead to. I want to explore the rest of the apartment, please. Let's go. Bro, I wanted to... I didn't think I had the right idea from the get-go. Man. We are not in the cult room. May our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting. Oh my god. Well, this looks bad. It, oh, well, no shit, Larry. <laughs> We're literally on the cult grounds and it looks exactly like the gear boy things that we've done. Incredible. This architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Centuries of blood and demon worship. This is freaky as hell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, which likely means the area is presently vacant and has been for a while. Let's hope that the m m malevolent history of, of this place remains in the past. Yeah, well, we need to get through that gate somehow. There appears to be an absence of any obvious mechanisms to move the large gates. They must be built into the walls. It's likely that the apparatus for opening the gate is hidden. We better split up and search the room. Yeah, okay, Ellen. Splitting up is not... That's not... Can I leave? Can I... Can I go back? <laughs> can I please go back? Ooh, what is this? What did I pick up? What is that? A light bulb. The glass on this light bulb is really thick and it has an odd smell. Interesting. Okay, can I put it on this? Use? Ooh, yes. Ooh, I'm smart. Yes, let's go. Um. You have anything to say? It's a bit strange that a place like this has has light bulbs. They must have been installed later on. Though this green bulb in particular is fascinating, I've never seen a bulb quite like bulb quite like it. How do you turn it on? That's another mystery. There are no visible switches. I've looked all around this area. Huh. Yeah, huh. Examine. An old leather-bound book with the symbol of a goat's head on the cover. The text is written in another language, and the pages smell like rotten flesh. This book gives me an oddly strong sensation of deja vu. It 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 should um, we 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 did the gear boy things with it, if you remember. What's with all the spikes? Like, dude, you can't turn around without stubbing your toe. Shit hurts like hell too. Right. An old. Le leather bound book there's a symbol on the cover of a bird within a circle the text is written in another language so i can't read it blood is splattered on some of the pages and the book is burned across the bottom edge touching this makes me feel lightheaded as if it's producing a strange energy okay time to ghost hunts Ooh. Ah, yes, yes, okay. We are powering the light bulbs with this ghostly energy. You see, now, if he's explaining this, I don't blame the reporter or anybody believing him at this point. 
Dude, those little obelisk thingies just got bigger. Oh. Scope it out. Oh, interesting. Hello. Cool. Ooh. Oh. It's gonna be one of these. Okay. And then what if I pull this one? Oh, I'm so close. I am so close. Okay. Ah! I did it. Oh, we got it open. Or not. Dude! What? Are, are, are you trying to give me a heart attack? That scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I got the gate open for a second, but that switch won't stay down. Todd, can you come stand on this? Larry and I can go find Ash while you make sure we don't get locked in. Sure, I can do that. And this is how Todd got in the hospital. <laughs> Ready? No, but Ash is in there somewhere, so let's go. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down here. This is a big place. Looks like there are two ways. We better split up. I was afraid you were going to say that. Um, yeah, me too. Oh, <gasps> do I? Why do these things always happen to me? I can play as Larry. Ah, oh, we gonna play as Larry. <laughs> Ooh, uh, yes. Oh, what? Okay, cool. All right, Larry, let's go. Wait, can I go on Sal's side? Sal, what up? Sal went that way. I need to go the other way. All right, fine, 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 fine. This is so cool. What do I, you know, what do I have on me? I have a key card. Key card for the basement. It's getting pretty worn. I should probably swap it out soon. Ooh, and then a lighter. My dad's old lighter. I always thought it looked so cool. I don't know why I still carry it around. I hardly ever, ever use it. Guess I just like having a part of him with me. Oh. And the rock. It's like this weird stone I found on, on the grounds. There's nothing special about it. Just thought it was sweet, so I kept it. Interesting. So you carry a rock <laughs> around. That's interesting. Very interesting, Larry. Sal! Crap, this place is like a maze. Shit. Okay. Right, okay, I wonder which one is the right one. <laughs> Obviously not the eerily sounding one. All right, okay. Oh my god, this is so, like, unsettling. I made it. I made it. Oh, this one's... That mechanism's broken, though. Right. Oh. Oh shit, okay. But how? Larry jump! <laughs> I did it somehow. I did it. I'm amazing. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Hey, Sal. Larry. 
Oh, oh, it's my turn. As Sal, it's my turn. What? Wait, so, so do I go through the ones that don't have sound? Yeah, I go through the ones that don't have sound, okay. Interesting, I like how they switched it up on me. We go the other way. Of course I can use the gear boy in here. Oh boy. I'm sure I didn't miss anything though. Any spooky scary things? Nope. Okay. And nothing spooky scary here. But what is this? An old book w w with a wooden cover. There's a solid black circle carved into the front that's made from a different type of wood. The frail green pages are covered in painted symbols. I can't make any sense of it, but it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Right, okay. I'm just gonna solve this kind of puzzle again. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Is that one locked? Yeah, you're locked. <laughs> All right, Sal, we did it. And we should see Larry on the other side. Yo. Larry. Hey, what's up, Larry? Hey, good timing. I think we have to pull these levers at the same time to open that gate. We must have walked around in a big circle. The room behind that gate is in the center of this place. It's the last room. Ash has to be back there. Right. Oh. Huh? <gasps> Do I have to put the mechanism that I have? Hmm. I think this weird hex thing from Mrs. Packerton's desk is some kind of key. It is. Whoa. Whoa, indeed. Holy shit balls! Oh my god. For we are the devourers of God. Uh-huh. That's exactly what they said in one of the things. In one of the Gear Boy game or chapters. Um. So are you just throwing bones down this chute? Oh my god ash 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 are you okay ash is she she's still breathing come on help me get her up yeah okay i hope she's still breathing uh-huh she's awake what what's going on where where are we? Dude, you fell down the stupid trash chute. I thought we lost you for good. I'm so glad we found you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fuzzy and sore. No broken bones. Well, not, none of mine at least. <laughs> Man, Ash, you wouldn't believe what we went through to find you. It's all thanks to Sally. He had one of his vision thingies and... Then he found this old cellar door in the basement, and then we went down these long, creepy stairs, and then we found this crazy-ass cult temple or some shit down here, and, and then there were all these puzzles and traps and mazes, and Todd, Todd is holding the front gate open for us. We should go back there. Wow, this is so much to take in. I can't believe all of this is right below the apartments. Thanks for coming for me. 
I don't know what I'd do without you guys. You're welcome, Ash. Thanks for causing more problems <laughs> for us. <laughs> so, are we going... So, what are we going to do about all of this? Mrs. Packerton has killed a lot of people. And the baloney... Uh, we can't just ignore this. Definitely not. Judging by what you guys have told me about the inner rooms of the temple and about Mrs. Packerton's apartments, it could be possible that she's gotten herself wrapped up in the occult as well. Even in the congregation, has long since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon this door, just as we have. Or maybe she's the last remaining member, trying to carry out whatever their plans were on her own. You don't think she's trying to bring the red-eyed demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. Man, we need to stop her, preferably like before that happens. I know going to the local police isn't an option. Maybe we, we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least this time our parents can't deny what's happening. They'll help us once we show them what's below this building and what Packerton has been doing. Ash is right. We should get her, our our parents involved this time. Are you sure? You sure that's a good idea? Maybe we should just kill her. Larry! What? Mrs. Packerton. Maybe we should kill her. She's old, so it, it shouldn't be that hard. We can't just kill someone, Larry. <laughs> then we'd be no better than her. Normally, I would be against harming others, but in this case, Larry might be right. Todd, Larry, seriously? You guys? Think about all of the strange, unexplainable occurrences that happened in Addison Apartments and in Knockfell in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Mrs. Packerton is acting alone. She must be getting outside help. It would explain the police cover-ups of Charlie and the Holmes family murders. There's no telling how far this corruption reaches. God damn. I guess that makes sense. Sal, you were saying something similar earlier today too. I don't know. Maybe this does fall on us to take care of. Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are about petty things like being popular and having nice hair not us though we just have to worry about saving the world i guess yeah saving the world i guess <laughs> god that's that is a tough situation so what happened we decided to sleep on it it was nearly morning anyway, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher? What did you decide? Did you go to the police? I didn't have to. Turns out, Peckerton got into a car accident on the way home that same night. She and the other driver were killed on impact. Oh, damn. Wow, and that's quite convenient. You can look it up for yourself, if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day. Beloved Knockville High teacher killed by drunk driver. Of course, you won't find anything about the dead bodies in her apartment or how she was feeding the students human flesh. That was all covered up. I see. I don't care if you don't believe me. It's the truth and you said you would air the full story. Don't worry, Sal. It will be aired in full. I always keep my word, and I think the people will be very interested in what you have to say. Everyone is watching you now. You spoke with a great fondness about your friend, Ashley. I understand that you two are very close. You even considered her one of your best friends, along with Larry Johnson and Todd Morrison. Is that true? Yes. Have you seen this? What? The Sally Face Killer trial today for mass murder, including entire family. 
Sources say that the prosecutor will call Ashley Campbell to testify against the Sally Face killer. Campbell is a longtime friend of Sally Face, and they were said to be very close in their high school years. Oh, damn. It's okay, Sal, don't cry. What about Todd? Y you said you'd tell me about Todd. Oh, uh, right, of course. We shot a segment on Morrison yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened that night. He's still out of it, unresponsive, still not talking, so we couldn't have a conversation with him. We mostly spoke with his doctor. I'm sorry, Sal. Apparently, Morrison hasn't shown any signs of improvement. In fact, his condition has been getting worse. They say that the damage he suffered that night is irreversible. Todd? He doesn't know fantasy from reality, and all he wants is to die. When he is denied the release of death, he becomes extremely violent. I... I need to help him. Somehow, I need to help him. Even the doctors and trained professionals haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose that you'll be able to? Because I know the truth. I know what really happened. I know what's wrong with Todd. Are you okay, Todd? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm awake! I'm awake already! Oh, uh, that's- that's not a normal alarm clock? Sal? Right, what- what- what is going on? One, two, three, four, five, one, what is, hello? <laughs> what is going on? Basil, Bub, hi. Well, we will continue on in the next episode. <laughs> this is definitely a very interesting shift in events. So we figured out what the baloney was. It was people like all of us suspected, but it, I don't think it was just the school kids. I think it was just like actual, like whole, whole families <laughs> that Mrs. Packerton has been killing and taking and turning into baloney, which is interesting. But now I'm curious as, as like, what exactly happened? Todd is batshit crazy, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and I want to know like, where are we one right now? And what is Bazelbub going to tell us? I feel like the closer we get to the end of this and the more like truth that gets uncovered, instead of it connecting together, it's just getting more complicated. <laughs> so I'm I, I'm so curious to see what happened to Todd. What happened? Like what happened during the incident? But anyways, thank you guys so, so, so much for joining me on this session. Hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye, yous.